Hi, I'm Aaron with Phoenix Pest Control. Today we're going to show you how to inspect your bed for bed bugs when you go on vacation. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you do not bring all your stuff in and slam it on the bed and flop on the bed because you've been traveling all day. I know it's tempting. Take all your luggage, put it in the tub or leave it in the car, leave it out in the hallway. Don't even bring it in yet. Don't put it on the little luggage racks because everybody does that. Okay. So before you bring anything in, you want to inspect the beds. Uh, just because they're called bed bugs doesn't necessarily mean they're only going to be on the beds. Uh, but this is where we start. So we start, you're going to need a good flashlight. You don't need a super duper crazy strong one. In fact, this one is probably too strong. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And we're going to start on, on one of the corners. Lift it up slowly. Don't sling it off. Lift it up and look and see if there's any dark spots. I'll put some pictures of, uh, the bed bugs, uh, the different stages right here, and I'll also put uh, some pictures of what their droppings look like and what it might look like when you see it on the bed. Continue to look, look through. Look at all the little corners. See if there's anything there. Take these little covers off. Flip them inside out and look. They can be on either side of these little stitches. Some of them have multiple ones. This one actually has a cover on it. Uh, whether it's a good one for bed bugs or not, uh, is we'll find out here in a minute. Uh, a lot of hotels are doing this. This is a good sign. They're at least being somewhat proactive. Uh, so let's go to the other side. You're going to do the same thing here and look, pulling all this back, uh, inspecting. You see something like this, that little black dot. You want to, you want to stop and take notice. Look under these. The more thorough you are, the better. You see, this is good and clean. This is a specific bed bug mattress. You can tell by this right here where it's been zip tied closed. So the next step is to get all this after you've looked at it, get it off the bed. We'll take all this off the bed and we're actually going to flip the mattress and, and look at it that way. Usually it's easier to take two people, uh, but I've been doing this a while so we can get to one. Set it up like this, and you're going to do the same thing. Look at all the little corners, the nooks and crannies. Use your flashlight. One tip is don't look here, right in the middle where the flashlight is brightest. Look here. So this is where I'm looking because you don't want to wash them out. Everything looks good. So down here on the skirt, a lot of times this is where you're going to find them just because of where they are. So this skirt, a lot of times they'll get in this, this seam here. So you want to take this off just like you did the other one and look here. Look at all these little stitchings. Um, the more thorough, the better. You can flip, flip the stitching each side. Use your flashlight to get in there and look. But take this off. Because chances are, most of these places, this never gets changed. And put that to the side. So your next step 
especially if the box spring hasn't been covered like this one has, or if it doesn't have a box spring at all, it's just got that little square frame. Uh, you want to lift this up and take a look at it just like you did the mattress. So we've got the same concept here. We're gonna look all along these edges and all the corners. You can see this one right here has actually been ripped. So this this uh, is this cover is actually no good anymore. It needs to be replaced. Now, just because you find bed bug covers or monitors or anything on the bed doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have uh, bed bugs in the room. These days, a lot of them, a lot of people are, especially in, in good hotels, are getting the clue that they have to do something about this, so they're being proactive. Uh, so this is a good sign. Doesn't mean you are aren't. So, but always look either way. So now you have the frame here. This frame is probably the best design I could ever think of because it's metal. Uh, bed bugs uh, can't negotiate smooth sur surfaces well. Uh, if this was wood, you would be looking at every little touch point in the wood and making sure that you don't find any bed bugs in there. So these headboards aren't like your normal headboards at the house. Um, they're easy to take off and bed bugs love to get behind these. So every hotel is going to be different, but most of these you can just lift straight up and lay on the bed, which we're going to demonstrate now. So this is the back of the headboard. As you can see, it just kind of sits uh, on the wall there. It's easy to take off, but it does take two people. What you want to do is you want to look in any place, any of these little creases where, where one material touch another material or uh, two things have come together, anything like that. You also want to look over here at these pieces or the pieces that hold the, uh, the headboard on. It's just a faux headboard. And up here, same thing. You want to look up here and especially around screw holes, you want to look for these things. So just because they're called bed bugs doesn't necessarily mean they're only going to be on the beds. These nightstands probably never get moved. They're right next to these beds 24-7. A lot of times they're even touching. So you want to look, just turn things over and look. Get your flashlight out, look at everything. Uh, pull this table out. Pull these drawers out and look at the, all the creases. See if there's anything there that should or shouldn't be there. So this chair over here, any chairs, any couches, you want to take a look at these, look at all the creases, all the stitching, see if it's there. Over here, we have another chair. If the cushions come off, you want to take those off and look at all the stitching all the way around and what's under it. This one doesn't. Uh, you can flip it and look behind it. Look uh, here. And here and all your little your little stitch points one good thing is these bed bugs really aren't going to hang out on this uh, it is better to hang your stuff up than to put it in the drawers never ever ever put all your stuff in the drawers either leave it hanging up if you if you can leave your bag hanging up all the time and get uh, take stuff out put stuff back in and that's the only place that you put stuff, that's great. So here we have another bed. We've got a second bed. And of course, you don't want to do just the one. You've got to do both of them. Nobody wants to go to Disney, see Mickey, and come back with little bed bug friends. So one thing I forgot to mention uh, in the video is what you do when you go home. Well, the first thing you want to do is when you get home, everybody wants to run in put their junk down, lay on the bed and relax. Yay, we're finally home. Uh, well, after Mickey, you can't be doing that. Go put all your stuff in the garage or leave it in the car or uh, lay it out in the driveway 
and you can call these guys uh, first defense canine uh, I'll leave some information uh, put some information here on the screen for them uh, you can call them to come out and uh, inspect all your stuff for bed bugs the the dogs come in sniff them out do it really quick they're awesome at it uh, before you even take it in that way if you do have an issue you don't even take that stuff in there so once you know that all your stuff is good to go and you don't have to worry about it then you can take it inside but before you go inside do what we do in the industry we call it getting naked on the front porch uh, depending on your homeowners association you may want to hope you have a mud room or a garage uh, but you want to take all your clothes off before you go inside take all those clothes shoes everything do not pass go do not collect 200 dollars go straight to the washing machine and then you go straight to the shower it's an isolation thing uh, you want to make sure that you don't take anything home uh, from your vacation so i hope this has helped if you have any further questions let me know you want to know what bugs me bed bugs you're killing me small no,